Exodus chapter 10. Now the Lord said to Moses, Go into Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the hearts of his servants, that I may show these signs of mine before him, and that you may tell in the hearing of your son and your son's son the mighty things I have done in Egypt, and my signs which I have done among them, that you may know that I am the Lord. So Moses and Aaron came in to Pharaoh and said to him, Thus says the Lord God of the Hebrews, How long will you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go that they may serve me. Or else, if you refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow I will bring locusts into your territory, and they shall cover the face of the earth, so that no one will be able to see the earth. And they shall eat the residue of what is left, which remains to you from the hail, and they shall eat every tree which grows up for you out of the field. They shall fill your houses, the houses of all your servants, and the houses of all the Egyptians, which neither your fathers nor your fathers' fathers have seen, since the day that they were on the earth to this day. And he turned and went out from Pharaoh. Then Pharaoh's servants said to him, How long shall this man be a snare to us? Let the men go, that they may serve the Lord their God. Do you not yet know that Egypt is destroyed? So Moses and Aaron were brought again to Pharaoh. And he said to them, Go, serve the Lord your God. Who are the ones that are going? And Moses said, We will go with our young and our old, with our sons and our daughters. With our flocks and our herds we will go, for we must hold a feast to the Lord. Then he said to them, The Lord had better be with you when I let you and your little ones go. Beware, for evil is ahead of you. Not so. Go now, you who are men, and serve the Lord, for that is what you desired. And they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the land of Egypt for the locusts, that they may come upon the land of Egypt, and eat every herb of the land, all that the hail has left. So Moses stretched out his rod over the land of Egypt, and the Lord brought an east wind on the land all that day and all that night. When it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. And the locusts went up over all the land of Egypt, and rested on all the territory of Egypt. They were very severe. Previously there had been no such locusts as they, nor shall there be such after them. For they covered the face of the whole earth, so that the land was darkened. And they ate every herb of the land, and all the fruit of the trees which the hail had left. So there remained nothing green on the trees, or on the plants of the field, throughout all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in haste, and said, I have sinned against the Lord your God and against you. Now, therefore, please forgive my sin only this once, and entreat the Lord your God, that he may take away from me this death only. So he went out from Pharaoh and entreated the Lord. And the Lord turned a very strong west wind, which took the locusts away and blew them into the Red Sea. There remained not one locust in all the territory of Egypt. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he did not let the children of Israel go. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, darkness which may even be felt. So Moses stretched out his hand toward heaven, and there was thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They did not see one another. Nor did anyone rise from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. Then Pharaoh called to Moses and said, Go, serve the Lord. Only let your flocks and your herds be kept back. Let your little ones also go with you. But Moses said, You must also give us sacrifices and burnt offerings that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. Our livestock also shall go with us. Not a hoof shall be left behind. For we must take some of them to serve the Lord our God, and even we do not know with what we must serve the Lord until we arrive there. 
But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let them go. Then Pharaoh said to him, Get away from me, take heed to yourself, and see my face no more. For in the day you see my face, you shall die. So Moses said, You have spoken well. I will never see your face again. Exodus chapter 10, practice questions. Number 1. God said he hardened Pharaoh's heart and his servant's heart so that he may show them A. Cool stuff B. Signs C. Magic tricks Number 1. God said he hardened Pharaoh's heart and his servant's heart so that he may show them A. Cool stuff B. Signs C. Magic tricks The correct answer? Verse 1. Signs B. Question number two. Who were the Israelites to tell of the mighty things and the signs done in Egypt? A. Sons and sons' sons. B. Newspapers and radio. Or C. The Canaanites. Number two. Who were the Israelites to tell of the mighty things and the signs done in Egypt? A. Sons and sons' sons. B. Newspapers and radio. Or C. Canaanites. The correct answer? A. Their sons and their sons' sons. Question number three. Moses and Aaron said to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord God of the blank, How long will you refuse to humble yourself before me? Was he the Lord God of A. All the earth, B. Beasts and all animals, or C. Hebrews. In this verse, the correct answer is C, the Hebrews, the Lord God of the Hebrews. Question number four. These would eat up everything that remained from the hail. Were they A, the locusts, B, grasshoppers, or C, katydids? Number four. These would eat up everything that remained from the hail. Was it A, the locusts, B, grasshoppers, or C, katydids? The correct answer is A, locusts. Number five. These said to Pharaoh, Do you not yet know that Egypt is destroyed? Was it A, Pharaoh's wife, B, Pharaoh's generals, or C, Pharaoh's servants? Number five, these said to Pharaoh, Do you not yet know that Egypt is destroyed? Was it A, Pharaoh's wife, B, Pharaoh's generals, or C, Pharaoh's servants? The correct answer is C, Pharaoh's servants. Number six, the wind came from this direction and brought locusts over the land of Egypt. Was it A, an east wind, B, a west wind, or C, a south wind. Number six, the wind came from this direction and brought locusts over the land of Egypt. Was it A, from the east, B, from the west, or C, from the south? The correct answer in verse 13, the east, letter A. Number seven, for they covered the face of the whole earth so that the land was A, green with locusts, B, darkened, or C, on fire. Number seven, for they covered the face of the whole earth, so that the land was A, green with locusts, B, darkened, or C, on fire. The correct answer in verse 15 is B, the land was darkened. Number eight, when Pharaoh asked Moses to entreat the Lord for him, God drove the locust with a west wind into here. Was it A, Lake Huron, B, the Black Sea, or C, the Red Sea? Number eight, when Pharaoh asked Moses to entreat the Lord for him, God drove the locust with a west wind into here. Was it A, Lake Huron, B, the Black Sea, or C, the Red Sea? The correct answer is C, the Red Sea. Number nine, 
the Lord told Moses to stretch out his hand toward heaven so that there would be blank over the land of Egypt, a blank that could be felt. Was it a darkness over the land of Egypt, a darkness could be felt? Was it B, a bitter cold over the land of Egypt, a bitter cold that could be felt? Or was it C, there would be heat over the land of Egypt, a heat that could be felt? Number nine. Next, the Lord told Moses to stretch out his hand toward heaven so that there would be blank over the land of Egypt, a blank that could be felt. Was it A, darkness, B, bitter cold, or C, heat? The answer is A, there would be darkness over the land of Egypt, a darkness that could be felt. Verse 21. Number 10. The thick darkness was over all the land of Egypt, how many days? A. Three days. B. Seven days. Or C. Forty-two days. Number 10. The thick darkness was over all the land of Egypt for this many days. A. Three days. B. Seven days. Or C. Forty-two days. The correct answer in chapter 10 verse 22 is three days. The darkness was over the land of Egypt. Number 11. Pharaoh sent Moses away and warned him, For in the day you see my face, you shall A. Be really sorry. B. Die. Or C. Go to jail. Number 11. Pharaoh sent Moses away and warned him, For in the day you see my face, you shall A. Be really sorry. B. Die. Or C. Go to jail. The correct answer in verse 28 is, you shall surely die. B. The end of chapter 10.